Hello YouTube and welcome to Full Dottle, a channel dedicated to tamping topics such as pipes, tobacco, lore, and more. I am your host, the Bearded Briarman, and without further ado, let's get lit. Welcome back everyone, and on this episode of Full Doddle, I'm going to be doing a VR to fill a piper. This is for his 200 sub gaw. But first, a little housekeeping. I am smoking my 7LA673KS Rusticated Oceano. And in it, I have some Cornell and Dill's Bayou Morning Flake. I got on another kick of it. And I have to say, it is my number one vapor of all time. Having some English breakfast tea. I use Swerve instead of sugar. And I usually have almond milk in there. But uh, I ran out of almond milk. And so I put just a touch of whole milk in it. I won't be doing that ever again. I do not like milk, white milk. It, I can't stand the taste of it. And uh, that was just a quick substitution for my almond milk, and it's horrible. The milk is, anyway. The tea is excellent. But I love the way that the English breakfast brings out the flavor profile of the Bayou Morning Flake. Anyway, Philly Piper is having his 200 sub gaw. Congratulations to you, brother. I know that that number is going to increase uh, dramatically uh, for you because your channel is amazing. I love to watch you. Anybody who hasn't subscribed to his channel, I will leave a link down in the bucket that goes directly to his channel so that you can go check him out. And his question was, if I could smoke a pipe with anybody, I'm assuming living or dead. Who would that be, and what pipe would you smoke? I've thought about it for a little while, and there is one person that I would be very interested in meeting. Would love to sit and just talk with him for a little while, and that person is Alan Watts. Alan Watts is a philosopher. He's also a practitioner of Zen Buddhism. Uh, back in the 60s and 70s, he did a lot of um, talks on Zen Buddhism and stuff like that. And he was one of the first philosophers that I found when I had my enlightenment, my awakening. He was one of the first that I had found. A few things that I have discovered in this life, in my time anyway, is that uh, one of the biggest things that I learned was that I didn't exist. And when I realized that Dallas Wind didn't really exist, that there was no such thing as Dallas, that I am energy and nothing more. I am a piece of God and that this thing that I thought that I was was nothing more than a collection of little fragments of information that I had gathered over time, it just blew my mind. And Alan Watts speaks to this a great deal. He also speaks uh, a great deal about the, um, the ability to have no mind or to be able to go with the flow, as they say. And one of the phrases that I coined myself when I was going through this time was, Where nothing is, anything can be. But where anything is, nothing else shall be. And that's just a reference to your mind, where you fill your mind. Whatever you fill your mind up with, 
Whatever it's filled up with is what it's going to be filled up with. But if you can empty your mind, if you can create a sense or a state of being where there is no mind, an emptying of your mind, then anything can fill it. You can leave yourself in a sense of wonder and amazement at everything. You can almost become childlike in that way again. And I'm not trying to preach uh, the Christian doctrine to anybody, but Jesus does um, have a proclivity, a, a uh, fondness for children in their amazement and their innocence about them. We can reach that state again. And as a matter of fact, Jesus says, unless you can become like one of these little children, you cannot inherit or you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. And so Zen Buddhism, away from the religious aspects of it or the religious connotations of it, Zen Buddhism is a way of emptying the mind and being able to be present and, and be in this present moment, accepting it for what it is, nothing more, nothing less. And so I would smoke a pipe with Alan Watts. I think it would be very interesting to sit and just have a conversation with him and listen to his wisdom on how to be in that state. As to what pipe would I be smoking? I would smoke this pipe right here. Alan Watts uses oceans and waters and streams a lot in his metaphors to explain the philosophy of Zen Buddhism. And this being the Oceano, how fitting is it to sit and speak with him about such things? So that's the one that I would smoke. I don't really think it would matter what type of tobacco that I would smoke with Alan Watts. I don't know what kind of tobaccos he smoked. But being that uh, Zen Buddhism originated in an Asian, uh, in the continent of, of Asia, I would probably smoke an Oriental. Maybe, maybe um, Alan Watts smoked Orientals, or maybe a good vapor, because I love a good vapor, and why not smoke what you like? This isn't something, uh, speaking of no mind, this isn't something that we should think too much on. So that's probably what I would do. Anyway, buddy, again, congratulations to you on your 200 subs. I know that number is just going to explode for you. So stick around, buddy, because it's going to get a lot bigger than that. I wish you good luck in the future on your channel. Keep it up. I enjoy driving to work with you every morning uh, when you are on your way. And good luck with you on your neighbor. You have a lot more patience than I do. If I had somebody that, I don't know what they call the male form of Karen out there, but if I had a neighbor like that, it wouldn't take too long before somebody got their feelings hurt because I wouldn't deal with it. And I would make sure to start my vehicle even when I wasn't going to go anywhere. Let it run and warm up just because I want the cab to stay warm. Anyway, buddy, good luck to you. That's going to do it for this episode of Full Doddle. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And until the next time we see each other, I bid you farewell and happy piping. Bye, everyone. Have you enlisted in the Full Doddle platoon yet? It's easy. Just click the subscribe button. Also, hit the bell icon to be notified as soon as I upload the next episode.